Hey, good Friday morning, everybody. Here we are. Wonderful opportunity we have that God's given us to, to get into His Word and get our dose of it to get our day going right. Hey, I want to uh, look at something that Paul wrote again in the book of Ephesians, but this time in the second chapter. I want to put, before we look at this passage, I want to put this before you. How is your life going for you? Do you feel like your life is hopeless? Do you feel like you've got any hope? Does it seem like everything is an obstacle and, and uh, everything is in the way and like the whole world is against you? Sometimes we can get like that. But there is a remedy to that. There's an answer to hopelessness. Paul wrote in Ephesians, the second chapter, and beginning in verse 11, he says, there, again, he's writing to Christians here. He says, Therefore remember that you, once Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision made uh, in the flesh by hands, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. What a powerful verse that we have there, specifically in verse 12. When our life, is uh, seems like we are out there by ourselves. It is because of this one reason, my friend. And this is fixable. It's because we don't have Christ. It's what Paul said. He says, you were, alien, you were without Christ. Aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Or, or in other words, the fullness of God's goodness and his blessings. And you were strangers to the covenant of promise. You have any, you have any promise to look forward to having no hope and without God in the world. Friend, if you get up every day and, you, and, and every day seems hopeless and you ask yourself, oh, maybe, maybe you're working hard, you're trying to do what's right and, and, or something to that effect and it just it's, it's, it, everything just seems like it's a, a hopeless endeavor. My friend, here's the answer. You don't have God. Not until you get God, not until you get in Christ Jesus, my friend, will you begin to ever have any hope whatsoever. Outside of God, outside of Christ, every day you wake up, it's, it's almost kind of like a rolling of the dice. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad. I have no idea what's going to come this way and whatever does come this way, I have to face it by myself. And, and, and all of this weight is being carried on my shoulders. Friend, you, that, that all of that's fixable. You don't have to stay in a life like that. What one must do to turn that around, it's not, there's not a lot to it. First of all, you've got to humble your heart and be willing to submit yourself to God. Repent of your sins. And you have to be willing to get into Christ. And you do that, my friends, by being baptized into Christ. Galatians 3 and verse 27. For as many have been uh, baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. And when we're talking about all of these things, it's, a, it's about a mind change. It's a, it's a lifestyle change. Where you may have found yourself at being right now, it's all because of poor choices. It's all because you've decided to live life on your terms. And the world tells us this is how you should be. This is how things should be. And the world's lied to you. You, know, you don't listen to a liar. You know, that's, that's another person. Well, they've lied to me once. I'm not going to believe another thing that they said. Well, the world keeps lying, uh, my friend, to you. And that is why you may feel hopeless. That is why you feel as if you have no hope. Because the world continues to lie to you every day. And sometimes these big wig preachers and religious people, they're lying to you. God loves you and he's going to take care of everything. My friend, not until we submit to him, not until we obey him, not until we put on Christ in baptism and come into his family, into his church, not until we do that. Is anything in this world going to get any better? Not until we do those things. Is that emptiness? Is that blackness? Is that void that's deep down inside of you? 
going to go away or be filled. Just look, just look at your life. If you're, if you're in a hopeless state of mind, a hopeless life, has any of the things that you've been doing, has been, have they been working out for you? It's a rhetorical question. Of course not, or you wouldn't feel hopeless, would you? It's fixable, and God has given us the answer to that. His Son, Jesus Christ. He's given us the answer that if we will believe Him, if we'll confess Him, if we will repent, and if we will be baptized and put on Christ in the waters of baptism, and have those sins and that old man, that hopelessness cut away, as Paul describes in Colossians 2, 11 through 13. My friend, everything in your life is going to change. You don't have to stay at a hopelessness state of mind. God loves you. He loves all mankind. Romans 5, 8, God demonstrated his own love towards us while we were yet sinners. While we were still hopeless. God provided and showed just how much he loves us and wants to get us out of that hopelessness state um, of mind. And so, my friend, if that's where you're at, you don't have to stay there. If you're ready to change and get out of that, you can do that. God's made it possible. It's in his son, Jesus Christ. But we must be willing to submit to what he says in order to get out of that. He says in verse 13, in Ephesians 2, he says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. You see, we don't have to stay far off. We don't have to stay strangers. We don't stay aliens. We don't have to stay in a hopeless situation. We can get into Christ Jesus, and that's only by baptism, my friend. And then we can be brought near to God and his goodness and his blessings, his aid, his comfort, and his care. If that's where you're at and if that's where you're in need of, act on that. And we can help you with that. You'll get with us via this video, and we'll and, and we'll reach out and we'll we'll get together, and and we'll show you how you can come according to the scriptures out of this hopeless state of mind that you may be in, where you can be brought near to God and all that He is and all of His goodness and all that He has to offer, all because of Jesus Christ. There's your dose of God's word today, and I hope it'll do you some good. And if we can help you with that, let us know. We'd be lo we would love and we'd be happy to do so. And so think about these things. You don't have to stay hopeless. There is hope, but it's in Jesus Christ. Hope you have a great day. Lord willing, we'll get back next time on Monday and get another dose of God's Word. We'll see you then.